Thanks for logging on to Altitude.tv for this web exclusive. I'm Maya Starks alongside Chris Marlowe and Todd Romero. The puzzle is coming together. The Denver Nuggets introducing their new head coach, Brian Shaw, championship pedigree, mm -hmm. three championships as a player, two as an assistant coach, and we welcome him to the Mile High City. Chris, your first thoughts. That was great. Uh, the one thing that I liked the best of anything he said, championship or bust. We're through worrying about can we make it out of the first round, how well we play during the regular season. It's about winning playoff games. It's about getting the Western Conference Finals. It's about winning championships. And I, I like that a lot. That That's forward thinking. I think when you take a look at Brian Shaw and what he brings to this team, the fact that he was on – five championship teams, the fact that he did it from the bench. He's done it as an assistant coach, and he's been around the greats of this game and how they took it from one level to the next mm -hmm. to enable the team to not just succeed a little bit, but to succeed a lot. And I think he needs, knows what that extra step is. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this is his first coaching job, yes, is that a concern? You never know exactly what you're going to get, but if you add in all those pieces to what Brian Shaw is and where he is going with this team, I think it bodes extremely well. Mm -hmm. Well, Brian Shaw has waited a long time for this opportunity, but he said, finally, this is the perfect fit for him, the Denver Nuggets. Let's go back out to Blake Olson. He's standing by with Brian Shaw. All right, Maya, thank you very much here with Coach, the, the new coach of the Denver Nuggets. And uh, this uh, you talked about it being the pretty girl at the dance. Uh, it's been a little different experience for you, hasn't it? It has. It has. Um, it was nice to, uh, you know, kind of be wanted. Um, and, and, and I felt the love, you know, this particular offseason as opposed to some in the past that, you know, people were really uh, coming after me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have the opportunity to work here for, like I said, for Josh Kroenke, Mr. Kroenke, and as well as uh, Tim, Don Tim Connolly. We, um, we have in a short time just really gotten to know each other and just real uh, got a, a, comfort, a high comfort level for one another. And... Um, I, you know, I can't express how important that is to be able to, 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 to like the people that you work with and have a, a genuine feel and be able to be honest and be yourself. What is, I'm sure, uh, comforting for the fans as well as they listen to you at the press conference here was the fact that you talked about the youth of the team, the roster, how you like the players on this team, the energy that they bring. Uh, this is pretty encouraging to the fans, I'm sure, and probably encouraging to you as well with the players that you do have on this team. Well, definitely. You know, use it, um, I mean, let's face it, how often is it that a first-time head coach gets to uh, come to a team that, you know, just made the playoffs and not and let alone let, you know, uh, won 57 games the prior season. And so um, normally you have to walk into a situation that's kind of rebuilding and, uh, you know, you get beat up night in and night out. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm blessed and I'm fortunate to, to be able to walk into this situation. I've always been fascinated uh, by this with you in the past, and you brought it up again uh, today. You didn't start on your high school basketball team. Who was on that team? Well, we had um, we had about seven Division One players on our on my high school team, and um, I was only, you know, five ten, one hundred and fifteen pounds. And so, my coach always said, you know, your best basketball is ahead of you. You know, you just have to let let your body, you know, develop and catch up. And so, um, I always felt like I, I thought the game through um, the right way, played the game the right way. Um, but, you know, we had some talented players on our team, and my development, development at that time was a little bit behind them. But, um, you know, as I said also in the press conference, that nothing's ever gone, you know, smoothly for me. Um, I've always taken uh, a roundabout path uh, to get to where I need to get, and not, not always by my choice, but um, that's the way it seems to work out. And so, um, you know, all those experiences, I have no regrets. Everything worked out. Uh, the way they worked out, and, and I wouldn't do anything differently. This also has to be a special time for you, as you mentioned. Uh, 20 years ago, tomorrow, you lost your parents and your sister in that auto accident. Uh, it's amazing how life works. It is, you know, and, and one of the things that's uh, gotten me through it over all these years is the fact that while they were here, we, um, we experienced one another and we lived and did things and created memories, and so those memories are what keep me going. And um, so, you know, although they were called home earlier than we would have we would have liked, um, I still feel like feel like we we lived a full life together. And um, my 
20, 20 year old that's a, a junior going into her junior year at, at Arizona State. That's actually my niece who um, I've been raising since she was 11 months old. And so it's, uh, you know, it's a blessing to be able to have been in her life and um, have her develop into the young lady that she is. And so, um, you know, she and my kids I constantly remind me of, you know, the relationship between my sister and I. And I know that they, they'd be proud if they were here. Coach, thank you very much. We're happy that you're part of the family, and welcome to Denver, Colorado. We're going to make you a Broncos fan before the, before it's all over. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Coach, thank you very much, and back to you guys in the studio, Maya and Chris Marlowe. All right. Also, Todd Romero joining us. We are making up that Bronco jersey. It's going to say S-H-A-W right on the back. we got to get him ready for this upcoming football season. That's the only thing I heard that really bothered me. He's (laughs) a Raider fan. Yeah, that was tough to take. That everybody in the 303. You know, that was tough to take. But as long as the winds keep coming, I think we'll we'll, we'll be all right. And he talks about this team, and he says he doesn't want to take away what's good about the Denver Nuggets. He just wants to put his own spin on it and continue to build on the Nuggets' success that they've already had under George Carl. Yeah, offense is fine. Don't worry about that. Have to get some shooters. Everybody knows about that. Improve the defense. He talked about the execution of the half-court defense. And he said, and if I'm a Denver Nuggets player, I'm a young guy. I'm a Jordan Hamilton of Fournier. He said, I want to play these young guys. I want to get them going. And uh, I'll be patient but firm. Well, and, and you know, as you call these games, Chris, you watch every single game and you know this roster. Denver's been fortunate to have nine, ten guys that can play at any time. And I think as the NBA goes forward, you're going to need 10, 11, 12 guys to go throughout a season to all be able to play valuable minutes. And Shaw's going to be a guy that's going to give them the opportunity. And he made the point, he's a new coach, but he's not coming in with a 20-win team. He's coming in with a team that had 57 wins and a few tweaks here and there. The depth of the roster and the talent on this roster is going to help him out a little bit. It's going to be fun. Yeah, new coach, but this is definitely not his first rodeo. The pieces are coming together, and we cannot wait till the fall when the new Denver Nuggets take the court. But we thank you for joining us here on Altitude. And... Keep logging on for updates and interviews on Altitude.tv.